Caution is the watchword of the Autobot we're taking a look at in this week's episode, even if his teammates think he's a little too cautious for his own good. These are the basics on Red Alert. The toy that would become the original Red Alert was first released as part of the Japanese toy line Diaclone in 1983 and transformed into a police-themed Lamborghini Countach sports car. The figure was a recolor of the regular Diaclone Countach released earlier in the year, retooled to add a light bar to its roof. The regular version was imported by Hasbro and released as part of the first year of the Transformers toy line as the Autobot Sideswipe in 1984, while the police version was imported for the second year in 1985 to become Red Alert. However, the Transformers release of the figure modified Red's paint job to change his alternate mode from a police car to a fire car, a type of vehicle used by a fire chief to respond to firefighting emergencies. A profile for Red Alert was written by Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky, which characterized him as the Autobot's security director, a nervous, paranoid bot who was always on guard, always expecting the worst, who allowed nothing to escape detection by his incredibly heightened senses. Red Alert joined the cast of the original Transformers animated series partway through its second season, though no explanation was offered for where he had come from. During his time on the show, he was often paired with fellow firefighter Inferno, with whom he formed a memorable odd couple double act, good friends despite the arguments that would arise when Red's overcautious personality clashed with the gung-ho Inferno's love of action. Not so fast, Inferno. I need backup. Oh, not again. I want to fight. In Red Alert's showcase episode, Auto Berserk. His logic circuits were damaged in a Decepticon attack, causing his paranoia to run wild. Convinced that the Autobots were all out to get him, the unstable Red was almost tricked into destroying his comrades by Starscream until he snapped out of it. Sadly, Red Alert's toy was only on sale for one year, and with its discontinuation in 1986, he was phased out of the series. A death scene for the character was planned and storyboarded for the Transformers the movie, in which he would have been gunned down by the Constructicons, but it was cut during production. Red couldn't be phased out of the Marvel comic book, however, because he was never in it to begin with. For unknown reasons, when the new 1985 Autobots were added to the comic, Red Alert wasn't among them. However, the fact that he didn't appear in the series did mean that the United Kingdom's version of the comic was free to use him in its exclusive stories. There, he appeared in an early issue to take down fellow Autobot Brawn after he temporarily went berserk, and in later years, his older future self appeared among a group of time-travelling Autobots from the year 2009. As no further toys of Red were released in the original toy line, he wound up never being added to the American comic book, but he would eventually appear in its sequel series, 1993's Transformers Generation 2 and 2012's Regeneration 1. The first new incarnation of Red Alert debuted in 2002's Transformers Armada. But like many bots from this series who reused the names of classic characters, this Red had little in common with the original. Armada Red Alert was the Autobot's medic and engineer, and transformed into a medical rescue SUV, loaded with action features, including some particularly memorable lights and sounds. Red Alert! <laughs> In his youth, Armada Red Alert had been a bold, fierce warrior, until sustaining near-fatal injuries in battle that caused him to change his outlook on life. From then on, he became a serious-minded individual, dedicated to planning, preparedness, and the preservation of life. As seen in the Armada cartoon, when he and the Autobots came to Earth to search for the power-enhancing Minicons, Red's stern and humorless attitude initially irritated his brash young teammate Hotshot, but Hotshot soon came to respect him after Red saved him from the Decepticons. As the series progressed, though, Red tended to participate in fewer battles, instead remaining at base to monitor and supervise and heal and repair his comrades, notably saving the life of Smokescreen. 
Late in the series, a Minicon Power Boost upgraded Red Alert into his Power Links form, a recolor of his original toy with a new Beach Rescue themed orange colour scheme. Armada Red Alert returned in the 2005 sequel series Transformers Cybertron, joining in the Autobots' efforts to locate the Cyber Planet Keys to close a huge black hole threatening Cybertron. This series saw Red and Hotshot sent to Velocitron, the speed planet, where the level-headed Red tried to temper Hotshot's overconfidence as the younger bot competed in a racing tournament to win Velocitron's planet key. Later in the series, Red Alert, Hotshot and Scattershot were badly damaged by Megatron and repaired and upgraded by the power of the Transformers god Primus with Red taking on the form of a huge missile-launching armoured personnel carrier. The reformatted trio were together known as the Cybertron Defence Team, so named for the key role they played in returning to Cybertron to exterminate the swarm of robotic scrap metal insects that had infested it. A female version of Red Alert, based on the Armada character, was originally slated to be part of the main cast of 2007's Transformers Animated, but was ultimately dropped in favour of classic Autobot medic Ratchet. She wasn't forgotten though, and later made a brief appearance in the show's third season in 2009 as a member of the Autobots Team Athenia, providing medical aid to Hotshot during a battle with the Decepticons Team Char. Now, though these other Red Alerts took much of the spotlight in the 2000s, the original Red hasn't been forgotten. There have been multiple new toys of him released over the years in various different Transformers toy lines, though they all have been retools and recolors of other pre-existing toys, usually, not always, but usually versions of Sideswipe. At times, Red's unique fire department deco has been used by other characters, resulting in toys that look like Red but aren't him, including Prowl, Inferno and even Sideswipe himself. For the most part, Red Alerts had only minor roles in media, briefly popping up in comic books, mobile games and the like, plus an appearance in 2015's Transformers Devastation video game as an alternate skin for Sideswipe. His largest role has been in IDW Publishing's More Than Meets the Eye comic book. In this series, Red served as security director aboard the starship Lost Light, but when he discovered that some crew members had smuggled the captive Decepticon Overlord aboard, he became so consumed by paranoia and distrust of those around him that he actually tried to kill himself. Fortunately, he failed, and after recovering, he decided to leave the ship to aid Autobot law enforcer Fortress Maximus in his duties. He would later discover that his paranoia wasn't entirely irrational. Millions of years ago, he had been brainwashed by corrupt former Autobot leader Sentinel Prime to serve as a sleeper agent. When Sentinel returned in the present day, he activated the programming hidden within Red's mind and turned him against his friends. But Red was able to fight back against his control and take Sentinel down. Most recently, a new figure of Red Alert was released in 2019's War for Cybertron Siege toyline, which in turn led him to appear in Netflix's tie-in animated series. Curiously, this version of Red lacked any of his usual paranoid tendencies, and despite the fact that he still sported his fire department markings, he was depicted as the Autobots' medic, like the Armada character. Maybe this represents a new, modern, unified take on the character of Red Alert. Or maybe millions of years of war just haven't yet taken their toll on the poor guy's mind. And those are the basics on Red Alert. Let me know in the comments which version of the character is your favourite. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Transformers history and lore. Click the bell to be notified about future episodes. And if you can, help support the series on Patreon.